I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is an Empire Things video short. The Visitation, and what we learn about Jesus during it. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, come here, boy. Come here. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app, Google, Amazon, and iTunes, and donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. So I want to point to you to... Um, to a, um, to the visitation. The gospel lesson for today is from none other than Luke chapter one, beginning with the 39th verse. Let's take a look at it, shall we? And we'll kick it up a notch so that you can, you can see it on both sides. In those days, Mary rose up and went with haste to the hill country to a town in Judah. Now, Mary had just learned that in her womb is the Son of God, that she is pregnant with a child by the Holy Spirit. And as unbelievable as that may seem, she said simply, all that the say, um, what does she say? Behold, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be to me according to your word. So you say that the baby in my womb is the very son of God and that I'm pregnant even though I don't know a man? I'm going to believe you, Gabriel. She entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. Remember, Zechariah had been told that his wife was with child even though he was old. that God had fulfilled his promise, finally. And Elizabeth, when she heard the greeting of Mary, the baby in her womb leapt for joy and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and crying out with a great voice said, Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the carpos, the fruit of your womb. And why is it that the mother of the Lord should come to me? For behold, when the sound of your greeting happened into my ears, the baby in my womb leapt for joy. And blessed is she that believes in the fulfillment of all which the Lord, all spoken to her, Herakuriu, by the Lord. Elizabeth is six months pregnant. The baby in her womb, John the Baptist. The baby just conceived in Mary's womb, by the word of the angel, is none other than the Son of God. When the greeting of Mary reaches the ears of Elizabeth, Elizabeth breaks into song because God is in her midst. Mary is the mother of the Lord. She is the mother of Yahweh, the mother of Jehovah, the mother of the God of the Old Testament. Jesus is Lord means Jesus is the God of the Old Testament. God is going to fulfill his promise in the child in Mary's womb. And all that we have ever hoped for, and all that we've dreamed, and all that we have thought that we needed from God, and more, will be fulfilled in this child. And so John, whose whole purpose is to point to Jesus, does so even before he's born, with a little leap, and perhaps a two-step. What why is it that the mother of the Lord should come to me? 
And mother of the Lord does not mean only that Mary is an important person. She is. But it says more about the baby, who is the Lord. Mary is great because of the baby in her womb. And she'll sing, my soul makes big the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked at the humble state of his, uh, his uh, state of his servant For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Magnificat praises the God who saves Mary. Her soul makes big because of the baby. Generations will call her blessed because of the baby. All things are going to work out for good because of the baby. And the ancient, um, and the ancient, Pictures of Mary always have her pushing forward the little baby because this isn't about Elizabeth and this isn't even about Mary. They are both instruments. That's what we all, all Christians are. We're used by the Lord um, for his good, for the good of others. Elizabeth is going to give birth to the greatest prophet of all time who will point to the son of God and say, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And in Mary's womb is the Savior of the world, who will be born, live his life, heal the sick, raise the dead, preach the good tidings of great joy to all people, be seized in the hands of the chief priest, teacher of the law, be crucified, die, be buried for you. But on the third day, he will rise again from the dead. And in the waters of your baptism, you rose with him. So a blessed visitation to you. As God works out his salvation for us, saving us. The collect is great for today. Almighty God, you chose the Virgin Mary to be the mother of your son and made known through her your glorious regard for the poor and the lowly and the despised. Grant that we may receive your word in humility and faith, and so be made one with Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, a blessed visitation to you, and this has been another Higher Things video short.